Microbiology involves the study of microbes, which is not visible to our naked eye, but yet they play such an important role in the field of medicine, in the field of agriculture, in the field of food processing, and of course in the mitigation of environmental pollution in our day-to-day -day life. In this particular course, the students from different biological fields like microbiology, biotechnology, biochemistry, botany, zoology, physiology, and of course, students of medicine, paramedical courses, nursing can all participate. This module is actually a continuity of the first MOOC that is introductory microbiology based on the CBCS syllabus of UGC in the field of microbiology. This particular MOOC actually include 33 different modules and these modules are divided into three sections. The section one which is including the different aspects of fungal and viral classification. The section two will include the scope of microbiology where the different positive and negative aspects of microbiology will be discussed. The section 3 will include the different practical aspects of introductory microbiology which will include media preparation and also preparation of buffer, enumeration of bacterial growth in synthetic media and the CFU count. The candidates eligible for this course should at least pass plus two examinations with biological science as a subject. Anyone with that qualification is eligible. Four modules are to be uploaded each week over a period of nine weeks. There is a live interactive session with students every week. You will be required to spend eight to 10 hours a week listening to the lectures, studying the reading materials and consulting the references. You are most welcome to ask questions and seek clarifications during the weekly interactive sessions. Each module has a self-assessment exercise of 10 multiple choice type questions. If your self-assessment score is 40% and above, you will be eligible to get a certificate of participation. If you complete the course, submitting all the assignments in due time and take the proctored examination, you are entitled for four credit points. And of course, you will be getting a certificate of achievement. So students, I wish you all the very best.